open up ChemDraw, and if you don't know where it is, usually check the Start menu, All Programs, and then ChemBio Office 2008, ChemDraw Ultra. Once it's open, you'll find this screen here with a white uh, page, and you want to go ahead and start drawing some stuff. The toolbar is here on the left. The first time you install the program, a bunch of windows will pop up, and you can close them all and drag the toolbar to the left and it will fix it in this part of the screen. So go ahead and uh, make sure that under object that you have fixed lengths and fixed angles selected and that way you don't have to deal with variable angles and lengths. So with fixed lengths click the bond tool and then you just click on the page and make whatever structure you're interested in. Okay, now I'm trying to draw a cyclohexane and it looks sort of skewed and funny. So what I'm going to do is go to object. Oh, actually I'm going to select it. So if, I, if you just click select, you can drag a box to select it or you can use the lasso tool and select it that way. And then you can go to structure, clean up structure, and that way it'll fix everything so it's nice and even. Another way you can draw something like cyclohexane is go to the toolbar here and go to cyclohexane ring there's a bunch of templates here just simply by clicking once on the screen you get cyclohexane that way too so to select it you can just um, again click select and it will highlight or select the last structure drawn and then you can move it around with this hand tool alright like that okay and so anytime you select something automatically the hand tool is activated and you can move the structures around so you can play around with some of the different templates we have. Benzene, um, cyclohexane chairs, uh, you can also have cyclooctane. Um, and then if you see something that's not here, you can click the template icon and you can actually see lots of different templates here for all kinds of you know funny structures. And you can even see some bio art, you know, for um um, biology or biochemistry. Um, there's also glassware here that's sort of fun to play with. Uh, different conformations and all kinds of biomolecules like DNA bases, um, even material science. We have nano, different nanotubes, um, RNA templates, um, so all kinds of stuff here. All right, so anyway, that's really fun to play with later. Okay, let's say that I I'm interested in all these structures. Um, let's say I want to add some groups on here. So let's, let's try some stereochemistry here. If I want to make that wedged, I can just select the wedged tool here. And then I can click, um, if I want to make it a hydroxyl group, I'm just going to put the cursor over this bond. I want an OH there. I'm just going to type O. And automatically, it knows that only one bond to O means that there's an open valence. So it goes, it goes ahead and puts the hydrogen in there automatically. Uh, if I want to show the lone pairs, I would click lone pairs. And then I would select the oxygen and then click for the lone pair and then just drag it to where I want them. Okay, so if I wanted a double bond, all I can do is I don't have to erase this bond. I can just click the solid line and I can click over this bond and it should automatically figure out how to deal with the structure. Uh, so suppose you want something other than oxygen. I'm going to try chlorine. All you have to do is click C and since methyl comes up, I'm going to delete that. So I'm going to hit delete. I'm going to try uh, shift C, like a capital C, and automatically chlorine will come up. Let's try one with bromine. This time I'm going to use a dashed bond to show it's from behind. And then I'm going to just use B. So since B is not as common as C for carbon, boron's not very common. Usually bromine will just come up with a capital or with just a regular B. Okay, so once you have that, let's say that I want to line all these up. There's one way you can go to view show crosshair. You could even show a ruler if you want to. And you can select these and you can line them up by using this um, graph paper. Okay. 
let's say that you have some structures that are really close together and it's hard to just select one without accidentally selecting something else that's when the lasso tool can come in handy and you can just select around one structure it's really easy from here to um, put this into a word document all you need to do is click um, edit copy or control C and then open your word document and you can control V or edit paste and this one will usually show um, hmm, it'll usually try to you can't just drag it anywhere you want to so if you go to page layout text wrapping you can do something like click in front of text and then that will allow you to drag it anywhere.